da 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 Hello everybody. My name is Shannon Clements. Some call me the nomadic author, others call me mental. Why? Because I like to think a lot. Now, when I first heard about the Impossible Whopper, they was, it was somewhere overseas, and they offered a chance to uh, be able to tell if you could tell the difference between the Impossible Whopper and a regular old Whopper. Now, the Impossible Whopper, which, as you can see, I got it right here in front of me, is a plant-based, um, plant-based burnt hamburger. There's no supposed to be no meat at all within it, even though they do offer. I mean, let you know that they do cook it on the cook the patty on the same grill as they do their regular Whoppers. But you can offer to have it. I mean, not offer, but you can ask to have it cooked on a on a on a grill away from the meat. So therefore, it could be a, be totally vegetarian. But other than that, you got meat juices getting into it because it, because it, it's cooked on the same grill as all the rest of the hamburgers and stuff. But this is a plant based burger, so that means there's nothing meat on there. It's all, the only thing that's meat on there, because I, put, I added cheese on there. Other than that, you know, and they say meat, cheese is not meat, but it comes from an animal. Everything else is basically plant-based. So, I look, it is what it is. I, I, I just looked at it, I said I gotta try it, because I've been hearing online about the Impossible Whopper. Then Burger King's talking about they that you can't taste the difference, and they offered to say that there's a 50-50 chance. They offered a, something called a 50-50. But it's overseas and not here in the United States. Today was the first day of the unveiling of the Impossible Whopper. Although in some areas, in some locations, you could have it, got it yesterday to try it out for yourself. And um, I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and try it out. To see what they're talking about because they offer a 50-50 chance over overseas. They haven't done it here in the in the U.S. and in the USA yet. And so what they're saying is that you can ask for the 50-50, and and it's on Burger King to choose whether they want to give you a regular Whopper or an Impossible Whopper, and because they saying it's is that close to where you can't even tell. That's why it's called the Impossible Whopper. You can't tell whether it's a meat based hamburger or not. Now I've had tried it once. Not the Impossible Whopper, but I've tried the plant-based hamburger one time and I swear to you it did not taste that good at all. So that's the reason why I never touched the stuff. But just like I was explaining to this young lady because she's a vegetarian and she allow her brother to uh, dupe her into eating a little bit of meat or whatever but I had to let her know point blank you know you gotta be careful on what type of meat you eat I mean I know they're coming from what you ate came from these fast food restaurants and everything but you got all these rumors going around and there are people out there that are missing and you know they get into cannibalism and all the other stuff and 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 people trying to fake meat human meat for for all these other types of meat that's the reason why I like to eat certain meats with the bones you know what I'm saying so I know what the hell I got <laughs> you know what it is cause you know a T-bone steak don't look nothing like anything in the human body you know let alone a piece of chicken so it is what it is call it what you want but I was watching a video where they was talking about um, human meat taste like tastes like a deep deep version of pork and then I was just watching this video today about over in Liberia how things got so bad over there and, and there's this one guy he used to be a warlord he turned into a preacher and he said he was hungry one day he went he, he went over there and, and sat down in the ate he saw 
This guy selling meat on sticks. So he went and bought some of that stuff. And he said he took a bite into it. And it tasted just like human meat. Now he openly admitting that he, he not just because he tasted it at that time, but he had asked at one point in time, he has eaten human meat, you know what I'm saying, in order to survive. And they say that the vast majority of everybody in, in Liberia that ate has eaten human meat. You know, so so it's, it's not not an uncommon thing to find over there in Liberia, but this in America. But you still got cannibals, and you still got ground beef and all the other good stuff, and you don't know what's actually being put into your food until you see it exposed on the news, if they ever expose it. You know, and then well, it is what it is. But I'm not here to talk about that cannibalism stuff. I'm here to talk about this impossible whopper. This is my very first time having it, and I'm about to let you know whether or not it would be my last. Now, I remember I tried out that burger, that, what was the Burger King, was it the Burger King? The Burger King taco. That thing was so greasy, I was like, what? Never again will I ever touch them dang on Burger King tacos. Never. It was. I showed you the grease on it, so you couldn't argue with me about it. But now, I'm about to open up this uh, Impossible Whopper. Let's open it up. I got it, like, got it my way. I always get my hamburgers cut in half. As you can see, I didn't, I didn't took the tomatoes off. Rarely, I sometimes I do eat, actually eat the tomatoes. But I don't eat the mayo because they like, got some places like gob and the mayo on there. No, so I just say no mayo. I put some mustard on it though. They never got the mustard on it, but they got the got the uh, mayo on it. As you can see, it actually looks just like a uh, Whopper hamburger patty. It feels just like a Whopper hamburger patty. See about the texture. So we, I'm about to find out. And, I'm, and, and you gonna be, and you gonna be right here with me to to check it out. I'm gonna actually try the meat first instead of just eating the whole thing at one point. That's not bad. Now I took now as you can see, I nibbled off the uh, the actual burger patty. See that's the actual meat. Yes, you can tell. The texture is is just like it, but as it breaks down, you just chewing it, and it's not mixed in with all the other pickles and onions and mayo and ketchup and mustard and all everything else that you got on there. The cheese too. Just eating the meat by itself, it tastes like meat. The texture is just like meat when you first jump into it and as you chewing it, but as it breaks down. You can tell. It's not the same as meat. So BK, excuse me, Burger King. I don't want somebody thinking that I'm talking about them when I ain't. Burger King. I can tell the difference. I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a what you call an omnivore. I eat both meat and vegetables. I'm not just a straight meat eater like a like a uh, what do you call it carnivore. <laughs> I can tell the difference, 
but at the same time, it's not nasty like I like that. What you got? So I might actually start ordering these instead of the regular whoppers. As you can see, I can stand to lose the weight anyway. <laughs> so, it, so I'm just looking at it for what it is. It's not gonna trick me. I know what I'm eating is all plant based, but at the same time, it's good. It literally do taste just like a regular Whopper too. It's just if you pan, if you're not paying attention, some people out there getting high. You you, you know say you you out there getting high, you just chump down on it. You can tell you can't tell the difference. You just hungry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or if you just eating the whole burger by itself, you can't really tell. That's you eating a straight veg, vegetarian burger, all vegetables. But if you was to actually just do just like I said, like I did, and ch bite on the meat by itself, and then chew on it, the texture is just it's, it's for some odd reason the texture is just like meat, but it's all vegetable. But as it breaks down in your mouth, it has after a period of time, it got like a slight pasty. You know what I'm saying? Texture to it. After you, after it breaks down in your mouth, your saliva going to work on it, and it, it takes on like a sm a slightly pasty taste, a slightly pasty texture. So you can tell the difference between the Impossible Whopper and the regular Whopper. But other than that, if, if somebody just jump into it just like this. You wouldn't be able to tell. You really would. All right. I'll let you.